I'm Danny Helen with Maverick Agriculture, and we're going to be going over a quick overview of the differences between the T40 and the T30. So the first difference is that over on the T40, we have a camera that's 12 megapixels compared to the 5 that's on the T30. The T40 also has a camera that's on a gimbal, so it can actually move up and down, so you can use it for crop scouting, mapping, and even spot spraying for weeds. So the next feature is that this T40 has a big radar right here on the top. Now, by bringing it to the top, it made it much easier to sense its directionals around it, because when it's on the bottom, like the T30, it has some blind spots with its landing gear, and also when it starts flying forward, it tilts a little bit, and it makes it a little bit more difficult to read through the drone. So now on the T40, it can read it all really well together, being on top of it, and it also pairs really well with these binocular cameras right there, so all together it gives you a great uh, 360 directional obstacle avoidance sensor. So another big difference is the spraying systems. So on the T30 we have an 8 gallon tank, whereas the T40 has a 10 and a half gallon tank. They also sense the liquid level a bit different. So on the T30 there is a float level sensor where it can determine how much you have left in your tank, where on the T40 it not only has a sensor in the bottom to let you know if it's empty or not, but it also has these two sensors that the tank kind of rests on to act as like a scale to see how heavy and how much your tank will be filled with. So for the spraying system, the T40 has two rotary nozzles on the back here. It also comes with different spray plates for different droplet sizes, whereas the T30 has the individual T-Jet nozzles. And for the pumps, the T30 pumps are underneath here, so they stay in the system the whole time where on the T40, they're located actually on the tank itself. So when you take out that tank to swap in like the spreader, the whole system comes out making it overall lighter. So I have a T40 battery here in my hand and what a little bit of a difference is compared to the T30 batteries is these vents right here, which offer a little bit more airflow through them so they don't overheat as quick. They also are a little bit larger in size and do offer a little longer bit of a flight time. And one thing to note though is that they are cross compatible with both drones. So you can use a T30 battery in a T40 and vice versa with the T30, but we do recommend the T40 batteries overall. So I have the T40 and the T30 controller. So a little bit of differences here is that the T40 does have a quite a bit larger of a screen and also with the software you can create shortcuts, templates, you can change your options on the buttons that you want and just overall an easier interface in my opinion. They are a little similar in the ways that they can both use an external battery for longer life and they are both waterproof. So that was an overview between the Agrash T40 and T30 drones. Thanks for watching. I'm Danny with Maverick Egg. Like and subscribe.